Hello, nerds! Thank you for watching Generally Nerdy. This is your Week in Nerddom comic books edition for the week of May 21st, 2018. This week in comic books, we have DC crossing over with Warner Brothers cartoons. Yes! <laughs> Uh, Spider-Man uh, is it's being very vague with its future. Requiem is a thing that's happening in the Marvel Universe. Venom is getting all history style on us. And hit the intro. Quiet on the set. Rolling. Hi, I am Bitsy Tellick. Hey, I'm Hale Appleman. I'm Walter Kane. I'm Rene Aubergenois. Odo on Deep Space Nine. Michael Dorn, Lieutenant Commander War, Star Trek The Next Generation. Uh, come and see me and hear me and talk to me and listen to me talk about myself. Hey man, this is Kevin Smith, often considered generally nerdy, and you are listening to what is often considered generally nerdy. On Generally Nerdy. Yeah. You're listening to... Generally Nerdy. Generally Nerdy. Generally Nerdy. Before we get into the news, guys, we have to get into the sponsor. All of this week's episodes are going to be sponsored by Patreon.com slash Generally Nerdy. That is the Patreon page where you can go support the channel. Uh, it's broken down. There's four different tiers. $1 tier, $2 tier, $5, and $10. And even just the $1 tier, which is just the early access to all the videos and the complete uh, instructions on the Renaissance Nerd videos, even just that tier, which... I feel like that's worth a buck a month, right? It, you, because that's full instructions for Renaissance Nerd. That's not just the ingredients list like you get on the free version of those videos. Uh, so check it out, patreon.com slash generally nerdy. Link is right here on the screen. And now let's jump into some news. First things first, we're talking about DC crossing over with those wonderful Warner Brothers cartoons. That is right, we get four one-shot books in August that are crossing over DC IPs with the Warner Brothers uh, cartoons IPs. We'll be getting, uh, the, the four books are Catwoman and, and Sylvester, wait, wait, let me start that over. Catwoman slash Tweety and Sylvester special number one in which uh, Sylvester teams up with Catwoman to catch Tweety the bird but then realizes that Catwoman isn't what he bargained for. Very interesting. Uh, next we have Harley Quinn slash Gossamer special number one. Harley uh, finds a box with Gossamer. If you don't remember who Gossamer is, you know who Gossamer is. Gossamer is the big red thing. He's like a big giant hairball. Sometimes he has arms, sometimes he doesn't, depending on how old the cartoon is. Uh, but that that thing's name is Gossamer. Uh, so Harley and Gossamer, special number one. Harley un unpacks a box that she finds and Gossamer's in it and hijinks ensue. And then we have the Joker and Daffy Duck, special number one. Uh, Daffy is trying to uh, do something for Acme goes to the Gotham branch of Acme headquarters and sees that it's out of commission and it's occupied by Joker and he joins Joker's gang. Yes, Daffy Duck becomes one of Joker's gang. Uh, and then again, hijinks ensue. And then the last of the four is Lex Luthor and Porky Pig special. Uh, Porky Pig goes to work for a Luthor Corp, works his way up by being very uh, uh, good employee for Luthor. Luthor gets uh, in trouble with Congress and then hijinks ensue. <laughs> That's kind of a running theme. It is Warner Brothers cartoon characters, so it makes sense, right? So that's those, that's again, that'll be in August. Uh, they will all come out on the same day, August 29th. So go check out your local comic book shop there. Next on the list, actually our last three bits are all Marvel because we rarely talk about Marvel anymore, it seems. We usually just talk about DC, but Spider-Man, Spider-Geddon is nigh. Uh, wh what could that mean? We just had the Spider-Verse thing. Well, just, it was like a year and a half ago at this point. Uh, and then we had the Venomverse stuff. So maybe we're going to be slimming the herd a little bit. Uh, I know Spider-Gwen or Ghost Spider, whatever she's going by these days, is a really big character. There are some lesser, lower popularity Spider characters that they could be potentially shaving out of the universe. Uh, but maybe they're going to be adding to the universe. That, I feel like, is always the better option. If a character starts losing popularity, you don't have to kill them off. You just stop 
writing him. Maybe he makes a couple of guest appearances in somebody else's books for a while, but doesn't have his own book or whatever. Uh, that's I, I feel like Spider-Geddon potentially could be disappointing for people who are big Spider-Man readers, but they th there is absolutely nothing that they have released aside from the poster that you're looking at on your screen right now that just says Spider-Geddon is 9, so who knows. Next on the list, we're talking about Requiem and the Infinity Gauntlet. Um, who is Requiem? We don't know. We There is reason to believe that it, that Requiem is female. Um, just based on some of the art, that she, it appears that she is drawn uh, in a feminine way, so very likely a female. Um, but it that's, again, there's so much that they're being super shady about. She is on the cover of Infinity War number two. Uh, holding all of the current Infinity Stone holders in her hand. So, are we looking at a new Infinity Gauntlet scenario? I would imagine yes, because the Infinity War is so big in the box office right now that in, for them to make a tie-in of some sort uh, with the comic books is going to be the, what marketing is looking to do, so that makes sense to me. But then our last bit of news is Venom, the first host. No, Eddie Brock was not the second host and uh, uh, Peter Parker the first. We learned in Venom number one that actually the symbiotes, the symbiotes, whatever, have been coming to Earth since medieval times. And uh, Beowulf, there was a flat. There's a very br brief flashback scene in Venom number one where Beowulf is ha is having to deal with a, a symbiote that has joined with a very bad person. So uh, the first host is now going to be a spin-off series dealing with whoever it was because it doesn't show us who it's combined with. It just shows us that it is combined with somebody back in Beowulf's time. So that person is going to have some sort of play with Eddie Brock and just things are going on and there, this is definitely one side of the Spider-Verse that is expanding because now we have this whole history that we can explore in future books with how the symbiotes have been influencing the human history and influencing major events that we know about. So. Very interesting stuff there. That is the end of comic books this week, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, click the like button. If you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button. What did I miss, guys? What should we talk about next week? Let me know in the comments down low. If, though, you want to go deeper into the conversation, jump over to the website. GenerallyNerdy.net is the place that you can do that. It is where you see all of the freebies, the, the links to the social medias, the links to the stores, so you can get your nerdy swag over on GenerallyNerdy.net. Or if you want to support the channel a little more directly, there is a Patreon page. We talked about it at the beginning of the episode. Patreon dot com slash generally nerdy and again thank you guys very very much for watching if you are falling behind on your nerd news click or tap that box right there to the left of my face to catch up but before we do that before we click the boxes and visit the sites and things and stuff guys always always remember that if it's generally nerdy it's probably here <laughs>